up guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fully drugstore waterproof makeup tutorial. It is really easy to do and it's super simple and really pretty so I hope that you guys like it and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you haven't done so already by clicking this subscribe button here or if you're on a mobile device you can click the subscribe button below this video, I think it is. But anyways, if you guys want to see how to get this easy drugstore waterproof makeup look then just keep watching. Starting out, I will be using two concealers. The first is the NYX Gotcha Covered Waterproof Concealer, and I'm using that kind of around my nose and any area like blemishes that have a little bit of extra redness. And then I will actually be mixing it with some of the LA Girl Pro Concealer just to lighten it up because I didn't have any of the waterproof concealer in the tone that I wanted to highlight with. So yeah, I just did that and then applied it underneath my eyes to brighten and then blended it out with a beauty blender. Next, I'm using the Garnier BB Cream, and I'm applying that all over my face and then going to be blending it out with a beauty blender. If you are going to be going into a pool, I don't suggest wearing heavy makeup. Um, just something light that will kind of even out your skin tone is fine. It likely will not wash off in a pool anyways, especially if you're only in there for a little bit. And then I'm just going to set my face using the clear complexion powder. That was kind of hard to say from Rimmel. And this is actually a long wearing powder, so it shouldn't um, like sweat off of your face or anything very quickly. Then for my eyes, I'll be using the Essence 2-in-1 Eyeshadow Stick, which is actually waterproof. And I'm only using one color like on my actual eyelid just to keep it super simple. And I'm just putting like a couple layers on just until I get it to the intensity that I want. And then I'm blending out the edges with my finger. To highlight the inner corner, I'll be taking another one of the waterproof 2-in-1 eyeshadow pencils from Essence, and this is in the color Light Me Up, and I'm just applying that to the inner corner and then blending it out slightly with a brush. And for that bright blue inner rim of the eye, I'm going to use a slide-on, glide-on pencil from NYX. These are also waterproof. I believe this color is called Azure, but I will have it in the description box below. I think it's so pretty and very perfect for like pool parties. And then for waterproof mascara, I chose this one from CoverGirl. And let me tell you, this is very, very waterproof. It stayed on all day and I had quite a tough time getting it off at the end of the day, which I guess is a very good sign, especially if you do actually plan on swimming and you want to have some mascara on. I definitely suggest this, and this was on sale for like less than $4 at Walmart. And if you guys are looking for a waterproof bronzer, they exist, and this one is from Rimmel. It is the Natural Bronzer Waterproof Bronzing Powder in the color Sunshine, and I'm using that to bronze up like the sides of my face and also sort of using it as a blush because I kind of just really liked the bronziness of it and I didn't want to add like another color. Then I went ahead and set my face using the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. And for lips, I used the NYX Whipped Lip and Cheek Souffle in the color Plush because it's very similar to my natural lip color. And most lip products that you wear, unless it's like a liquid matte lipstick, will probably wear off. But you could also use a stain. I just figured using something that's close to your natural lip color, you won't really notice if it washes off in the pool. And then for brows, I just quickly went over them with the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel. And this is just to give a little bit of shape and definition. And that is the final look. I hope that you guys liked it. That's it for today's video. I hope that you guys liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel before you go. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.